Okay, what's up guys? So it's the Tech JD here again with um, a pretty cool little video. Um, it's going to be a short video, but um, right now I'm kind of working on uh, React and I wanted to make this cool little load screen for when a person visits a DAP and they haven't logged into MetaMask in this case. Um, and I just think this, uh, this little MetaMask logo is pretty cool, so I wanted to uh, imitate that. Um, so I'm going to show you today how you can uh, integrate this yourself. Um, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is um, there's actually a repository for it. It's MetaMask logo. Um, but if you are using React, um, this isn't going to be what you need. Um, the stuff from here is what you need, um, but basically you're going to make it um, React friendly, I guess, um, where you can actually break it down into a component so you can use it in your React app. So let's go ahead and look in the code. Um, and basically, um, I'm going to import that, but if you're unfamiliar with React components, basically I've got this set up in my app and it is going to, when the state, like when my DAP isn't loaded yet, I'm going to have this component load. So the screen's gonna render this instead of, you know, the code that I have below it, right? Um, so how do we do that? So, I'll just call it metamasklogo.js, go in, okay, so first thing you want to do is import react and component, because we are creating a react component that we're going to want to implement in our HTML. Model viewer. And what this is doing here is it's just coming directly from that API. So model, model viewer is an add, I don't know if that's necessary. Um, class MetaMask logo extends component. All right. So this part is entirely missing from our API in GitHub, but it's what we need. So component did mount this viewer. Model viewer. True. Obviously, you can kind of specify this however you want. You can change the width, you can change the height. Oops. <laughs> Not true. All right. Okay, yeah, so all this is saying is basically if the component mounts successfully, um, mount it with the specifications okay so so far so good you are going to want to append this as a child append child to 
the above container or the parent container. And once it's successful, or sorry, you need to unmount it as well. And there is a stop animation function for it. Render. <clears throat> okay um so you need this part oops but in a second, I'm going to show you how to style up your rendering. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. And then we can do pretty much whatever we want. Um, position, absolute. Um, top. And it has to be just this format. So for React, when you're doing these styles, just remember that you have to put everything in those quotation marks. And, ooh, I think that's good, All right? Okay, so I mean, that's really actually all it takes. Um, oh, the last thing, you have to export it. So make sure export default and MetaMask logo. Boom. All right. And then so the last thing you're going to want to do is if you are working in React and you've got the whole React set up already, remember you are going to have to import it. and then set it wherever you want. Like uh, I've got it set in my load screen. So that's where this, um, if this state isn't, isn't loaded, go ahead and return that MetaMask logo. And basically that's what you see. So Once we launch this, um, I had a little bit extra. I added the the login to MetaMask, but that's basically what it is. Pretty simple, um, pretty cool, pretty fun. Just a little alternative to, you know, I've seen um, people do buttons um, for connecting to the wallet. Um, one thing that I didn't want is typically if you unbox a React app or you create a new React app, and it comes with all this stuff just already packaged in. Um, one thing that it does on its app.js file, which I don't like, is um, it'll come up with that like little that little pop up warning around here. Um, it just looks kind of ugly. Um, I didn't want to deal with you know if a person for some reason doesn't see that message or anything like this. I wanted something that was still kind of cool. Um, you know, I'm not a I'm not really a um, CSS guy um, but you know it's a pretty good starting point and it just it's just a pretty clean interface it's a pretty cool uh, project that you can set up pretty quickly um, and it does the trick all right um, if you need I will drop the code to this repository um, so you can use that if you have any issues um, you will need to update it a little bit the package is not the package, I'll, I'll show you. So the updated package, if you go to the to the official repository, is this. 
and the repository I'm going to link you to is a little bit dated. Um, so just you want to watch out for that because if you try to just download it, you might have problems. Um, this is this is deprecated. All right. 